Hi everyone, today we are going to cover cost assessment cycle. It is one of the month end activities. It is one of the important cost allocation methods. It can be used for both planned and actual cost allocation. In this assessment method, secondary cost elements are used for cost allocation. In this method, cost incurred in one or more cost objects is allocated to multiple cost objects like cost centers. For example, a building rent is paid by admin department. However, the same building is used by three departments production department, IT department, HR department. So the rent needs to be allocated to these three departments using allocation cycle. Let's take an example test scenario. A building rent of 1 lakh rupees is posted in admin department. We want to allocate this rent of 1 lakh rupees to production department, IT department and HR department on percentage basis. Here 20% for production department, 30% for IT department and 50% for HR department. After execution of our assessment cycle, the result should be like this. The rent which we posted 1 lakh should get reversed with negative entry and the production cost center should be posted with 20,000 as 20% of 1 lakh rupees and IT department should get posted with amount of 30,000 as 30% of 1 lakh rupees and HR department should have the entry posted with 50,000 as 50% 50 of 1 lakh rupees. All these entries of 1 lakh rupees in negative amount 20,000, 30,000 and 50,000. Coming to 1 lakh as total, all these 4 entries should be posted using the secondary cost element. Let's go to our SAP system and do the practical testing. To execute the test scenario which explained we explained here, we need to follow these following steps. Let's go step by step. Go to SAP system. First step is to create an expense GL account using transaction code FS00. Go to FS00. Here we want it to create the rent GL account. Let's copy any GL account 4019. Give short text GL account long text hit enter click on save so we have successfully created our rent expenses GL account for this GL account we need to create a primary cost element we can create the primary cost element from this screen itself or we can go to KA01 and in that screen we can create the primary cost element. Let's click on this edit cost element. The same cost element will reflect here. Give valid from date 01012022. Hit enter. Cost element category select as one primary cost or 
cost reducing revenues hit enter click on save so we have successfully created our cost element also so next step is to create secondary cost element so earlier we created gl account in fs00 and we created a primary cost element in fs00 itself we, we did not use ka01 and now we need to create a secondary cost element with category 42 which is used for uh, allocation uh, using assessment method using transaction code ka06 go to ka06 42 category so 1100 we can give as 1000 one secondary cost element for assessment view description so here we need to select cost element category as assessment this is very important hit enter click on save. so we have created our secondary cost element and next step is we need to create cost centers we have already created cost centers in our earlier test scenarios let us go and check once again as 0 to display cost centers admin department so we can see the admin department cost center is there and similarly for production department cost center is there we have already created cost center in our earlier testing cases so let us skip this step and go to post expenses to sender cost center sender cost center is nothing but admin cost centers so we need to go to fb60 or fb50 also we can use let's go by fb60 FB here we are posting rent expenses to admin department give invoice date amount one left and expense 4019 GL account we created for rent expenses rent amount text we need to select here the admin department cost center Here it is. Select, hit enter, click on save. So, document 1075 was posted in company code to RCB. So, here we have successfully posted 1 lakh rupees of rent to our center cost center, which is nothing but the admin department. So, next step is to maintain allocation structure. The transaction code is KSES. Here we can see that allocation structure, CO allocation structure is A1. Select this row and click on assignment, click on inventories, Z11 test assignment. It in. Click on source. Select this row and click on source. Select our cost element 4019. Click on new entries. Here we need to give our secondary cost element which we want to use in assessment purpose. Hit enter. Click on settlement cost element click on new entries receiver category should be cost center
by cost element you can click on save go back go back so it is in green color that means there is no error in that what we have done here is that in allocation structure a1 under allocation structure a1 we have created one assignment which is nothing but z double one it is a source of cost element from 4019 so it will pick the expenses from 4019 and use this secondary cost element and settle that to the cost center which we will be defining in our assessment uh, cycle so in upcoming steps we will be defining that thing. just category which will be receiving these expenses through this cost element we have given we have not specified the specific cost center we will be specifying that specific cost center in assessment cycle which will be defining in the next step Next step is create actual cost assessment cycle using transaction code KSU1. Go back. Go to transaction code KSU1 cycle assessment cycle 2 start date 0102022. U text. Click on save, click on attach segment, segment name, here we are having two options, either we can give cost element which we wanted to set, uh, uh, settle or allocate the amount from or we can give the allocation structure which we defined, Z11 we defined in our earlier step or we can give the cost element directly. Let us give the cost element. Cost element is not an assignment. 401, it I remember. 4019. Sorry, sorry. Secondary cost element we need to give here. 421001. Okay. So in sender rules, select sender rule as posted amount. 100% actual value. Select receiver rule as fixed percentage go to sender receiver here give the sender cost center cost center admin what is the cost element 4019 print what are the receiver cost centers select receiver cost centers from HRD to PRD Go to sender value step, enter version 0, go to receiver tracing factor and give percentage for each cost center. For HR department is 50%, for IT department it is 30% and production department is 20%. Hit enter and click on save. Click on save once again go back click on formal cycle check was successful see okay go back so we have completed our actual cost assessment cycle creation let's go to our cost center report and see how the rent expenses are appearing in that report centers no give one by one entry admin department production department IT department HR department click on execute in center you can see rent value of one leg rupees 
and in receivers we are not having rent amount PRD cost center is not having rent amount and HRD cost center is also not having rent amount and ITT cost center is also not having rent amount so now execute our actual cost assessment cycle KSU5 KSU5 from period to period fiscal year assessment cycle 2 select test run click on execute no errors we can see processing completed without errors one sender three receivers double click we can see the admin center is admin cost center is sending these three are receiving so go back and remove test run and execute once again remove test run execute we have successfully executed our actual assessment cycle let's go back to our cost center report come outside and execute once again so here we can see 4019 is a rent expenditure so for that rent expenditure we are having one more entry 421001 using secondary cost element of 1 lakh rupees in negative this is the secondary cost element which we define in our assessment uh, cycle and you can see that same secondary cost element is used to post the amount of uh, 20,000 in production department nothing but 20% of 1 lakh rupee come into 20,000 in production department similarly for HR department the same secondary cost element used to post 50,000 the secondary cost same secondary cost element used to post in IT department 30,000 total coming to 30,000 50,000 20,000 1 lakh rupees plus and here minus we can see in yeah, sender cost center with this uh, we have successfully executed our assessment cycle. Thank you.